hello guys in today's show i'm going to show you guys how you can use the trend dilo indicator and alpha trend to trade to swing trade bitcoin or any cryptocurrency out there this indicator is a free tool on trading view you can get it i'm going to show you guys how to get it on this live stream so if say it's your first time here you want to go sub subscribe or like this content because yeah i create content that will help you you know make money in the crypto space um those who are always here with me you guys are awesome it's always good to have you on board now guys the alpha trend indicator is an indicator that helps you to identify well, what kind of trend the market is either uh, the market is in an uptrend or in a buy in a downtrend and both trend is um indicated by a buy or sell, sell signal of course when um the market is in, in an uptrend you're gonna see a buy signal and when the market is in a downtrend you're gonna see a sell signal and the trend below indicator is just like the rosi you know but to me i think this is more uh, effective it gives you the signal when uh, the market is oversold and when it's overbought so i'm going to combine this indicator here today and show you guys on how you can use it to trade any coin like any coin out there so let's dive into it right now uh, this is bitcoin on the daily time frame guys and one thing i've noticed about this indicator is that it's so effective on the daily time frame um, you can use it to swing trade i mean swing trading bitcoin like for example let's say um we are waiting for the black rock uh, so-called news and we know that bitcoin is going to be bullish right and immediately you see that bitcoin is in in an uptrend on that daily time frame and bitcoin is respecting the trend you want to look at if say um you know this the candles are above the alpha trend and also if say the alpha, the trend low indicator is printing this um green this green um, shadow here yeah? in like this in this box it, so far as um the trend low indicator is pretty that green and it's above this um, this uh, middle line here yeah? the middle line the 0, 0, 0.0 line then it's a bullish signal for me but when you look at also the fact that the channel the channel indicator on the daily time frame has been showing weakness weakness you see um before um, the price was like it, it was showing over uh, oversold and it came back down showing over like not overbought but it was just around the um, 0, 0.0 um that, that was 0 0.12 um area and after that we saw price move right upward but it printed this um divergence here yeah. and when you see divergence like this it means the trend is getting weaker and weaker and weaker and now we are in a critical zone if the if the trend dealer indicator break this line on the daily time frame i start i start and start trading below the 0 0.01 that is below uh, around minus uh, 0 0.1 then you want to get out from you know bitcoin but we're going to look at many other um you know conference here like many other um you know signal signs to for us to, to get out that's why i want to combine the two like alpha trend with the trend below and if i zoom back with you know you're going to see uh, that on bitcoin the trend below indicator um like has been really really doing so well with bitcoin let me um you go first on the weekly time frame so we can see uh, how powerful this indicator is you can see on the weekly time frame let's say you are someone who is a swing trader and you bought bitcoin let's say for example um yeah right or you saw bitcoin trading and you like okay i'm i'm a realistic person i want to wait until i i see another buy signal you would have waited for like four years right to do this but when you go to the daily time frame you don't see that okay um bitcoin was showing this trend or like it was showing this trend back 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 i think that was um which month and uh, that was around um, uh, the price was merely going down okay this is this is in the period the price was barely going down you can see here this was the period of the of the uh, that was um, april 2022 when price was really going down that was from 40, 46 000. but before then 
uh, price was at 68,000. You can see how price are going down, you know, ever since that time going down, 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 down. And price keep going down, right? But at, the, at that point, the trend low indicator was printing um, like different buy and sell signal, right? Now, you can use this if say you're a long-term Bitcoiner or Bitcoin holder, right? You can use this to really accumulate more Bitcoin for yourself, right? Like you, you, you know that Bitcoin is here forever. Like not only Bitcoin, let's say you are you are investing in, in other old, old coin and you believe that the old coin is, you know, it has a really good future. You can now see that, okay, if say you see a sell signal, you don't buy that bit, that uh, asset. And if say you see a sell, sell signal, you will see that the trend below indicator is going to print this um, green box at the top. Each time you see that sell signal, the trend, the trend below has, uh, indicator has already shown you that, okay, this has been in an over overbought area and now we might see a retracement back to the over over uh, oversold area so it printed that um that green and now you see the sell you could have sold or just watch keep or take out profit right then you come again and buy whenever you see this um you know buy signal or when you see the indicator going down to that bottom area but whenever it goes to that bottom we're going to see some of recovery and guys mind you this is the daily time frame each candle you see here is a daily time frame which means the movement on lower time frame is going to be huge huge you can use this to get signal to trade like to day trade in or just you go to the lower time frame knowing that the trend will be more up 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 because of this um signal here you can you know dca that project from this indicator now you see that the channel indicator didn't make it way to the upside like to show uh to print over 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 sold um over bought it's keep trending below that zero point uh, there's below the zero point zero one or the below the zero point zero level meaning um it's still it's still bearish right bearish and you see that price came back again to this level you would have uh, you know gotten this indicator again at that price point right and this is this was this was going to be a more buy area for you because you the the, the sell signal it wasn't even like showing any in, in any trend it was uh in a side you know in a, the, the indicator was moving sideways meaning that wasn't an area to, to buy because you, remember this indicator is a is a it's an indicator to follow the trend and when the indicator is not in a trending market it means it's in a ranging market so you wouldn't have really paid attention or, or like on this or uh, um buy signal or on the sell signal you would have known that um this is gonna go down you know it's not gonna go up anyway for looking at that you know because like you have to see it um like break structure and even if it hasn't broken structure then oh, no matter what signal you see here you have to be aware that not like you cannot use only the indicator you can also use some some, some sort of like um other uh, ways to look at the market to see that okay even though it has printed this this buy um buy yeah it doesn't work in any structure right and you i mean even though you would have bought but you would have still been in in a green because you would have been dca in like down 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 or you have taken you have taken out profit when you uh, when you saw this uh, other sell signal here now after this sell signal you see that price came right down again and before price price printed a buy signal but you would have been, you know, DCA in, in this zone, like going down because the Chordillo indicator was showing over, over bought, over bought, um, sorry, over sold, over sold, over sold, over sold. And after that, we saw this, um, you know, buy signal. And the buy signal was printed when the Chordillo indicator, uh, you know, started going above, above that 0 0.1, uh, 0, 0, um, five, um, you know, zone. And after that, we saw this sell signal. Guys, like when you see the indicator in, you know in a region market like this you can use that uh, as an opportunity to dca right buy you say when you see buy you just dca you see buy you buy and you see buy you keep buying you know you can if you see sell you can you know just take out profit or just uh, you know stay in the market because you are someone who is buying for the long term right so i mean when you see the sell you don't you don't pay pay more attention to it because you're you're, you're focusing more mostly on the 
on the like accumulation zone or you are swing trading until maybe bitcoin is gonna go to the next all time high now the juicy part is here remember when we are in the when we are in an uptrend you don't pay attention more to the sell signal and when we are in a downtrend you know you don't pay attention more to the back to the buy signal because um it's good we are going down you are buying not because you want to make profit you are buying because you want to accumulate more of course you want to make profit but you know that um if say the trend reverse you know you're going to keep making profit if the trend reverse now when you see in the option like this you see that okay um from this buy this buy here you see that the trend dealer indicator was printed was printing this it was above this you know showing the over 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 bot area and it was putting this green here that was a signal to say that okay because price is above this 0, 0.0 um price point on the trend below it means that whatever sell signal you see above that area you don't you're not gonna pay attention to it to like as if you're gonna sell your bitcoin or get out from the market you know that um it's gonna be more of an upside that's why you see um this sell signal you didn't really do anything uh, much this is gonna be for people who don't do short-term trading like you know but we, immediately we, we uh, price came back to that range we saw a buy signal and the trendino was short printing this over 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 uh over sold area this over sorry over sold area yeah and immediately after that we saw price moving up 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 and guys this has been in an uptrend ever since and now you know we can say that for you to actually be, uh, look at bitcoin saying that okay now i want to actually sell bitcoin you know you have to uh, wait for this um price the trend uh, price should start to start trading below the trend below like 0 .0 0 0.0.01 area 0 .0, 0 0.0 sorry minus 0 0.01 area and so far as price is above the 0 0.0 um you know zone then we are still bullish as of now but again don't forget that we are there's a divergence here meaning we can see um bitcoin really move downward towards this over a sold area this over over sold area yeah so be careful as you trade other altcoin that's why i think we are coming to the end of this trend here yeah? the trend dealer is showing us signal that we are coming to an end of this um massive move from here it is a massive bo uh, buy move from here ever since the alpha trend indicator hasn't printed um you know any sell any sell signal and guys how you get this indicator go to your trading view if you see you don't have trading view is very important trading view is one of the top indicator out there not like platform that you can trade um cryptocurrency and if you see you don't have trading view you can use my link below this video go to my tree um to my link tree there you're gonna find my link to um trading view but how to get it go to the indicator tab just search for um alpha trend alpha alpha trend and you're gonna see the alpha the alpha trend signal let's see this is the alpha trend screener alpha trend screener this is the one you want to choose the one with kivan or bliggy this is the one the first one you can mark a starter so that you can um have it always up to your favorite right and the next one is trend dilo this trend dealer is free open source just type trend dealer on the indicator uh, section you're gonna see trend dealer open source this is the one you want to get you know trend dealer open so you can mark the star there as well to get to get um, it always when you want to um like uh, insert it to your, to your chat guys all these indicators are free it won't cost you anything you don't have to change anything just get it to your chat and that's it you're free to go you know you can swing trade any coin during this period um long term using um this alpha trade indicator and you can do it mostly with uh, on the daily time frame just to dca buy this coin and you say okay well, the next if say you see the um, trend change if say you see the trend dealer like you can see if say you bought it here when it was still down there and even though the trend dealer has come closer you are still in profit and even if the uh, like even when the trend dealer is going to come like below this zone always price will always gonna uh, you know like go to retail so when you see a um, price print a sell signal here and you see something like this if price break and close below 
you know you can see quite price haven't really closed below this um indicator this indicator if so if you see price close below the alpha trend and print the sell signal and price go to retest it and try, price isn't able to break to print a uh, a, a buy signal then you want to sell all your old coin or like sell everything into bitcoin or um sell half the bitcoin and the rest into usdt this is what i uh, i use also on um like mostly on the four hours time frame if you want me to um, do a video on how i use this on um, the four hours time frame you comment below that you want me to do a video about that i will say that guys this is all for today i'm not gonna do much i just wanted you guys to see how you can use this indicator uh, if say the content this content was helpful to you and you want to keep creating more of such content then you want to go right now and smash the subscribe button if you're watching on facebook like and share my content with someone else out there i will say that guys see you in the next video bye bye <laughs>